felt a little bit guilty but Joe and Zerg players had a lot to do the filthy dark build against um, Terrans, you know. So uh, fair is fair, you know. Um, yeah, uh, Terran arguably is one of the least cheesy races, um, possibly the least cheesy of all the races. Um, I reckon, just saying, but uh, you know. Don't let that put you off. Um, this one's kind of specialty for redshift. I don't even know if it'll work. It probably will though. There are, of course, downsides to this build, too. Plan is double racks, proxied. They are going to fly into the gold. What's up? These guys casual. We finished that add on. Nice. Add on. And it's double marauder. What's going on? SCVs are under attack. SCV ready. I'm going. You're wrong. This guy on auto repair in case the links turn up a ton. That's it, really. Go, go, go. Yeah, no chance. So anyway, that's what I would do. It's a bit nasty. A bit savage. Let's get these tucked into a corner so that nothing can surround them. Rollers are so tough, like. It's just ugly, isn't it? I mean, it does kind of help that the, like, you know, it does help that the AI is a complete idiot. But yeah, that's essentially it. Um, uh, obviously, Reg, if you've got the option to like, build your racks behind the gold and fly them in. You don't have to do that. Um, and there is a chance, of course, that your opponent has expoed there. Um, I wouldn't let that put me off because the hatchery won't have finished by the time you're doing your fly in. So, you know, I would just go ahead and land next to it. Um, does mean it's gonna be harder to build the bunker, but I'd still send the workers around and put the bunker here just, you know, because this will finish by the time the workers get around. But chances are they don't have more than a handful of lings. Um, yeah, anyway, GG.